E-learning teams say that um, they see differentiation as being the key within a blended classroom to uh, deal with all sorts of different situations. Um, multiple age groups being taught within the same class, multiple um, uh, ability levels taught within the same group. What are your thoughts on that? Let me say something that might sound paradoxical. None of the ideas that we have in the affordances of which differentiated learning is one are new ideas. They're actually really, really old ideas. And I'm going to give you an example around differentiation. Maria Montessori, at the turn of the 20th century, in a very poor neighbourhood in Rome, so not an easy place to be doing education, created a whole system which was based on differentiation. So first thing was she grouped children in classes where the logic of the class was not around similarity, but the logic was around differences. So the, in three-year age brackets, so there's a three to six bracket in classical Montessori uh, pedagogy, there's a, um, a six to nine bracket, three year, and, and the idea of having a three-year bracket is that these kids know different things, and the whole logic of the class is based on students helping each other. And then what she did is she set up around the physical space all these stations where even little kids were pretty autonomous, doing things and, and using these contraptions, these very hands-on things that she had created. So this is a beautiful case of differentiation. Now, in fact, um, in fact, it's hard to do. And the interesting thing is it, it survived in early childhood to some degree, um, not that much because we soon started trying to put people into you know, these sort of cohorts which are vaguely similar. But the interesting thing is that it didn't become generalised across all of education because it's just logistically complicated. Now, for me, the technology only does one thing. It doesn't do anything pedagogical. It just makes that easier. It just makes it more practicable. So in other words, you as the teacher, it doesn't matter that students are going at a different pace because they can... Um, you can see what they're doing. You've got a kind of a dashboard which shows you what everybody's doing. You know, they can ask you qu quick questions. They can also rely on peers for things. They can form groups of different, different, uh, of different kinds. So, um, uh, and what I've seen for the first time outside the Montessori kind of early childhood environment is schools where they're literally breaking down the walls. So I've been involved in a school in uh, Wisconsin. In fact, one of my students is a teacher there one of my um, master's students. Uh, um, and what they've been gradually doing in this school is literally demolishing the walls. So what they have is this big open space now with little workstations, rooms where four or five people can work, this student's working by themselves, and then a hundred students are working together and they're working together across different age brackets and you know an older student helping a younger student um, is a learning experience for the older student as well as the younger one but in a way the technology the fact that all the kids have laptops and they've, there's a wireless system and whatever it would be well it would be very hard to manage I'm not going to say it would be chaos but it'd be actually much harder to manage uh, without that kind of um, technological infrastructure so the differentiation stuff for me, um, that's one of the really important things that this offers, but the idea is not new.